Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by React Native developers. Our viewer asks, how can I scroll to the end of a flat list after the keyboard is displayed? This is a crucial feature for chat applications and similar interfaces where user input is essential. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To achieve scrolling to the end of a flat list when the keyboard appears, we need to listen for the keyboard events. First, we will set up a listener for the keyboard did show event. Next, we will implement the scroll end function. This function will be triggered when the keyboard is shown and it will scroll the flat list to the end. Now, let's ensure that the flat list is properly referenced. We will use the ref attribute to access the flat list component in our render method. Finally, we need to ensure that the keyboard avoiding view is set up correctly. We will use the behavior prop to adjust the layout when the keyboard appears. With these steps completed, your flat list should now scroll to the end whenever the keyboard is displayed, providing a better user experience. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To scroll to the end of a flat list after displaying the keyboard, you can use a custom component called List Spacer. This component manages the flat list height dynamically based on the keyboard's visibility. In the List Spacer component, we listen for keyboard events. When the keyboard shows, we adjust the flat list height to accommodate it. When the keyboard hides, we reset the height. You can implement this by wrapping your animated flat list inside the list spacer component. This allows the flat list to resize smoothly as the keyboard appears and disappears. For a more visual explanation, check out the tutorial linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To scroll to the end of a flat list after displaying the keyboard, you can use the getItemLayout function. This function helps optimize performance by skipping the measurement of dynamic content if you know the item heights in advance. If you're using an item separator component, remember to include the height or width of the separator when calculating the offset. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.